Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Abdur and I'm an MSCSE student at the University of Toronto. It's been almost three months since I joined the MSCSE program and I've been wanting to make a video uh, telling you guys how it's been so far. But before that, I want to tell you that the weather has changed quite a lot since I came to Canada. So at the time when I came, uh, it was pretty much all green. But by now, all the leaves have fallen off the trees and uh, it has even snowed for one or two days. And right now, I mean, at the moment, it's not that cold. It's still in positive and the temperature usually just goes below uh, zero degrees only at night. These days, the sun sets at like 5 p.m. and all of the outdoor activities uh, that we uh, previously used to do, like uh, going to the park and playing football and frisbee, has now come to a complete halt. So in order to stay fit, I'm just trying to do some basic workouts indoors, like push-ups and all that. Anyways, the purpose of this video was to tell you guys how the MSCSE program has been treating me so far, now that I'm almost three months into it. So uh, before that, just a refresher, uh, the MSCSE program is basically eight months of coursework followed by eight months of applied research internship. So right now I'm in the eight month of uh, coursework part. So uh, since it's like been almost three months, I'm almost at the end of the first term. So there are two terms that I have to study and I have to take a total of four courses in it. So I decided to take two courses during the fall term, the fall study term and uh, two uh, more courses during the uh, winter term. Some students in my MSCSE cohort have even taken three courses this term. So they'll be taking just one course next term. So that is how the MSCSE program works. You basically have to take a minimum of four courses in order to uh, qualify in order to graduate but you are free to take uh, even more courses so some students even go for 3-3 or 4-4 so we can take a maximum of four courses in uh, both of the study terms I'm doing just four courses two in each term because I'm also working part-time in tech uh, as a DevOps engineer at a startup here so I'm learning a lot from there as well but as an MSCSC student if you're not doing a part-time job then I think you can manage with three or four courses in each term. But it will become a little hectic at the end uh, when all the assignments and group projects and exams start coming in uh, at the same time. The difficulty of the MSCAC program depends entirely on your selection of courses. Uh, as I said earlier, I'm doing two courses in this term and one of them is uh, MIE 1624. Uh, introduction to data science and analytics this course is moderate in terms of difficulty uh, the assignments are interesting but they're a bit lengthy so uh, they're basically based on what uh, data scientists and data analysts uh, face in real life uh, as a consultant or uh, on a data science project for instance i recently worked on the final assignment of this course uh, where we had to uh, scrape data from indeed.com uh, for job descriptions related to jobs on uh, data scientists or data analysts and we had to find uh, relevant keywords or skills uh, from the job description and cluster them into different courses. So basically the whole idea of this assignment was to find out what are the most relevant skills that data scientists or data analysts should have uh, both and by skills I mean both hard skills and soft skills and then design a curriculum of 8 to 12 courses where these uh, skills will be taught to the students taking that uh, specific program. So this in itself was a very interesting assignment to work on. Just as I gave the example of this assignment, the entire course is very practical. Uh, it is not at all a research oriented course. So it's basically a practical approach to learning data science and analytics just as the way it is being used in the industry right now. So far in this course, I've been nailing down the assignments well enough. So out of 39, I've managed to secure uh, 36 marks, uh, but there will be a final exam and I'm also awaiting the result of the uh, final assignment and uh, a group project. So in total, I have to score above 70 uh, out of 100. So uh, hopefully the final exam goes well and uh, I'm able to pass this course, which I think should not be that hard to do. The second course I've taken in this term is uh, CSE 2558, uh, which is related to randomized AB experiments 
which is kind of a branch of uh, human computer interaction so this is a super chill course we're basically learning about uh, ab testing which is uh, a way to uh, continuously improve upon a website content and personalize it uh, for every single user so there are a bunch of things in it like uh, multi arm bandits and thompson sampling so these do sound difficult but they're not that difficult so this is a super uh, easy course we just have like weekly assignments that we have to do and these assignments again are not difficult at all we just have to read some papers and write reflections uh, also there is no final exam for this course which is a big plus so it should be fairly easy to pass so to summarize the fall term has not been going hectic for me even though i have a part time job as well as a teaching assistantship role because i chose a moderate level practical course and an easy uh, research oriented course during this term if i didn't have a part time job to work and learn from i could have easily taken another uh, moderate or hard level course for the next term as well i'm planning to take moderate level courses uh, i'm not really sure on what courses i'll be choosing so i cannot really comment on that right now so uh, once i get into the winter term and i start uh, enrolling into those courses then i'll make uh, a separate video where i'll be discussing about this by the way if you're finding value out of this video kindly press the like button and subscribe to the channel it helps my videos reach more people and motivates me to keep making videos like this one of the main highlights of the mscac program is the 8 month long internship that we have at the end of the study period and the good thing about the mscac program is that they have a separate division that brings companies uh, or projects for us to have internships during the orientation itself we were given tips on how to write uh, an effective resume how to draft uh, a cover letter uh, how to manage our linkedin and uh, our personal brand so these are the things that were really helpful that i mean at least i found to be really helpful also throughout the fall term we have been revising our resumes so we submitted to the mscac team and they review it for us and they recommend changes that we incorporate and we submit again and they again give us feedback so this is how it works and i'm really happy about how they have been helping us a perfect our resumes and bringing these amazing projects so that we can have uh, a successful internship we also had an industry partner night with soti uh, which is a company based in mississauga so they have been coming to the mscac program uh, every single year with a lot of interesting projects in a wide range of fields like robotics ai cloud computing uh, even drones This year again they'll be hiring interns for about 13 interesting projects and uh, each of these projects will be having multiple interns working on them and I really liked some of the uh, projects that were related to cloud computing and infrastructure design also during the industry partner night we had a chance to uh, talk one to one with the industry partners uh, about the projects that they have come up with and also uh, the company in general i uh, i also had the chance to talk with the ceo of the company about uh, the vision and what they are planning to achieve in the long run about a week ago we also had arya uh, for my senior batch um arya stands for applied research in action and it is sort of like an exhibition where students present what they had worked on or what project they had worked on during their internship so as i said it was done for my senior batch during arya i met a lot of my seniors and got to know about the project that they had worked on and i also received some interview preparation tips so this was all about what has happened so far I'm now at the end of the fall term so I'm just finishing up with uh, the remaining assignments and projects um, also the part time work at 16 bit is going really well I'm learning a lot about cloud and automation from there on December 13th I have an exam for data science and analytics course and this exam is worth 26 marks is it's basically the uh, end semester exam so i'll be sort of busy during the week before that and after this exam i'll begin preparing for the interviews which happen uh, somewhere at the end of january to beginning of february so uh, these interviews are not that difficult they usually involve problem solving and discussing about uh, our previous projects and uh, work experiences So that was all about what has happened so far and what more is going to happen in the next few weeks or months uh, as an MSCSE student here at University of Toronto. So through this video I just wanted to give you guys an idea of uh, what it's like being an MSCSE student here at UFT. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you later.